Eight minutes past five as we take you into your Friday evening, into your weekend. This is Graham Rogers with you. Today, dozens of school children took part in a march through the streets of Swindon to protest about climate change. And across the world, around 5,000 demonstrations are happening ahead of the UN's summit in New York next week. Now, some of those protesting in Swindon have been telling BBC Wiltshire why they decided to take to the streets. I'm terrified of extinction of species and the idea that coral reefs in the seas might not be around anymore and that the only way to see animals like polar bears might be through old documentaries instead of real life. No one's listening. We're at a crucial point in our education where we're supposed to be making choices about what we want to do with our future. And there and, isn't one at the moment. And we don't feel like we should be making those choices because we, don't, we might not have a planet to, to be on. I just want to raise a future generation. I don't want them, their lives to be like doomed you know i i think everyone deserves like to have a life where we're not worried about the climate 24 7 well pupils at st john's academy in marlborough took part in special uh, special day of lessons uh, looking closer at the issue the head of science and climate change leader at the school is johnny friend what we wanted to do is get all 1700 students involved in uh climate change activities so Every single student is off their normal timetable for the whole day and uh, they have five different sessions in school uh, where they're taking part in climate change activities, whether it be a talk talk from an external uh, expert, whether it be sessions run uh, by teachers in school, but each of them about climate change. And from your experience, how concerned are your students about climate change? Uh, honestly, I would say there's a mix. Um, we we have an environment group here, and there's a, there's a really strong core of students who um, know a lot about it, are very impassioned by it, and they understand the issues, and they genuinely want to make a difference. There are also students who, at the moment, well, before today, had heard about something called climate change, but didn't really know that much about it. So our main purpose of the day is, one, to really get into it and make sure that the students all understand about what the issue actually is. The second part of what we want today is for those students to actually take some time to properly reflect upon, okay, so that's the situation now. What do I actually want for my future and the future of further generations? And then the third part of what we want today is... Okay, so how am I going to get there? What actions are we as individuals and then help uh, larger corporations and government make? What differences can they all make to make a positive change in the world? Johnny Friend, Head of Science and Climate Change Leader at St John's in Marlborough. Well, 15-year-old Phoebe Train is one of the pupils uh, who was involved in this and says the days included special talks by experts on the issue. Each lesson um, has been been different and we've been learning from visitors from the school um, and watching videos and just learning lots of information. So we've had um, a lady in who's part of the Green Party and she's been discussing with us ways that we can improve the way we live to have a a better environment. Um, And we've also had a professor in to talk to us about all of our effects and how we can, again, improve the way we live and just make the world a better place, really. So how concerned are you and your friends about climate change? I'm very concerned about climate change because it's obvious that that things are happening and things are happening fast. Um, I know people who aren't as passionate about it, but they are definitely becoming more aware of it. Um, And I think that's really important. Mm. And we have a club that goes on at lunchtime every Wednesday. We're a big group of us from all over the school throughout all the years. Um, We come and discuss the ways that we can improve our school and um, get the information out to other peers um, of what we can do. Well, what do you think needs to happen to tackle climate change? I think we need to make people more aware because people are aware of the issue at hand, but no one is really doing anything about it. I think that there's so much we can do and there's just little bits, um, like using less plastic, reducing how much we travel by car, uh, travel by bike or do share lifts or anything because 
we are quite selfish at the moment, I feel. Um, and we need to learn to branch out and uh, really think about the effects of what we're doing to the world and how it's going to affect the future, whether we're in it or not. It's 15-year-old Phoebe Train, who is one of the pupils from St John's Academy in Marlborough, talking about what they're doing to mark a day of action against climate change.